customer. Wait, what you rush, what you hurry? You gave me such a fright, I thought you was a ghost. Half a minute, won't you sit, sit you down, sit. All I meant is that I haven't seen a customer for weeks. Did you come here for a pie, sir? Do forgive me if my head's a little vague. Ugh, what is that? But you think we had the plague? From the way that people keep avoiding? No, you don't. Heaven knows I try, sir. But there's no one comes in even to inhale. Right you are, sir, would you like a drop of ale? Mind you, I can hardly blame. These are probably the worst pies in London I know why nobody cares to take them I should know, I make them But good, no, the worst pies in London Even that's polite, the worst pies in London If you doubt it, take a bite Ugh. Is that just disgusting? You have to concede it It's nothing but crusting Here, drink this, you'll need it The worst pies in London And no wonder with the price of meat What it is when you get it Never thought I'd live to see the day Many think it was a treat Finding poor animals What are dying in the street Mrs. Mooney has a boy shop Does a business but I notice something weird Lately all her neighbors' cats have disappeared I have to hand it to her, what it calls enterprise Poppin' pussies into pies, wouldn't do in my shop Just the thought of it's enough to make you sick And I'm telling you, the pussy gets as quick No denying times is hard, sir Even harder than the worst pies in London Only lord and nothing more is that just revolting or greasy it looks like it's molting and tastes like, well, pity a woman alone with limited wind and the worst pies in London. Oh, sir, times is hard, times is hard. Isn't that a room up there over the shop? If times are so hard, why don't you rent it out? Should bring in something. Up there? <laughs> no one will go near it. People think it's haunted. You see, years ago, something happened up there. Something not very nice. There was a barber and his wife. And he was beautiful. A proper artist with a knife But they transported him for life And he was beautiful Barker his name was Benjamin Barker Transported? What was his crime? Foolishness He had this wife, you see Pretty little thing, silly little nit Had her chance for the moon on a string Poor thing Poor thing There were these two, you see Wanted her like mad One of them a judge, the other one is we do Every day they'd nudge and they'd redo Still she wouldn't budge from her needle Leaving her with nothing but grief and a year old kid Did she use her head even then? No, no, God forbid Poor fool Ah, but there was worse yet to come Poor thing Joanna, that was the baby's name Pretty little Joanna Go on My, but you do like a good story, don't ya? Well, Beetle calls on her all polite Poor thing, poor thing the judge, he tells her, is all contrite He blames himself for her dreadful plight She must come straight to his house tonight Poor thing, poor thing Of course when she goes there, poor thing, poor thing They're having this ball all in masks There's no one she knows there, poor dear, poor thing She wanders tormented and drinks, poor thing the judge has repented, she thinks, poor thing Oh, where is Judge Turpin, she asks He was there all right, only not so contrite 
She wasn't no match for such craft, you see, and everyone thought it so droll. They figured she had to be daft, you see, so all of them stood there and laughed, you see, poor soul, poor thing. Would no one have mercy on her? So it is you, Benjamin Barker. Not Barker, <laughs> not Barker. <laughs> Todd now! Sweeney Todd! Oh, you poor thing. You poor thing. Wait. See? When they come for the little girl, I hid them. I thought, who knows, maybe the poor silly blighter will be back again someday and need them. Cracked in the head, wasn't I? Times as bad as they are, I could have got five, maybe ten quid for them any day. <laughs> See? You can be a barber again. Huh. There was a barber and his wife. And he was beautiful. A proper artist with a knife. But they transported him for life. And he was beautiful. Barker, his name was. Benjamin Barker. Transported. What was his crime? Foolishness. He had this wife, you see. Pretty little thing, silly little nit, had her chance for the moon on a string. Wanted her like mad, one of them a judge, the other one his redo. Every day they'd nudge and they'd redo. Still she wouldn't budge from her needle. Too bad, pure thing. So they merely shipped the poor blighter off, so they did. Leaving her with nothing but grief and a year old kid. Did she use her head even then? No, oh, no, God forbid. Poor fool. Ah, but there was worse yet to come. Joanna, that was the baby's name. Pretty little Joanna. Go on. My, but you do like a good story, don't you? Well, Beetle calls on her all polite. Poor thing, poor thing. The judge, he tells her, is all contrite. He blames himself for her dreadful plight. She must come straight to his house tonight. Poor thing, poor thing. When she goes there, poor thing, poor thing They're having this ball all in masks There's no one she knows, the poor dear, poor thing She wanders tormented and drinks, poor thing The judge has repented, she thinks, poor thing Oh, where is Judge Turpin, she asks He was there all right, only not so contrite she wasn't no match for such craft, you see, and everyone thought it so droll. They figured she had to be daft, you see, so all of them stood there and laughed, you see, poor soul, poor thing. Would no one have mercy on her? So it is you, Benjamin Barker. Not Barker, <laughs> not Barker! <laughs> Todd now! Sweeney Todd! Oh, you poor thing. You poor thing. Wait. See? When they come for the little girl, I hid them. I thought, who knows, maybe the poor silly blighter will be back again someday and need them. Cracked in the head, wasn't I? Times as bad as they are, I could have got five, maybe ten quid for them any day. <laughs> See? You can be a barber again. Huh.